Welcome to the lecture by the Department of Microbiology and Virology. The topic of today's lecture is causative agents of zoonotic infections such as brucellosis and anthrax, their morphological and antigenic characteristics and algorithm of microbiological diagnostics, also methods of microbiological diagnostics and microbiological approaches to prevention. Brucellosis is an infectious disease of humans and animals characterized by acute and chronic cores, fever, and infectious disease accompanied by damage to the spleen, liver, genitals, nerves, and circulatory and musculoskeletal system. Its taxonomy. The causative agent of brucellosis refers to the family of Brucellaceae, genus Brucella, and species such as Brucella militensis, Brucella sui, Brucella abortus, Brucella canis, Brucella ovis, and Brucella neotime. Brucella are small, cotton shaped or very small rods, gram negative, cluttered on the sides. Virulent strains have a delicate microcapsule, no fibers or spores. Brucella are strict aerobes, but when initially isolated, they grow better in an atmosphere of 5-15% carbon dioxide at 36-38 Celsius degree and the pH of 6.6 .6 and 7.4. For their cultivation, media with the addition of blood, blood serum, glucose, glycerin are used. Blood agar, meat pipton liver broth, liver glucose glycerol broth, liver glucose glycerol agar, Hedelson liver agar. The main antigens of Brucella are two somatic species-specific O antigen, that are A and M. M antigen dominates in Brucella militensis. A antigen predominates in Brucella abortus and Brucella sui. Brucella also revealed a surface thermostable L antigen, similar to the VI antigen of Salmonella. The pathogenicity factors presented on the slide ensures the penetration of the pathogen into the cells, suppress the killer abilities of phagocytes and allow brucella to persist inside these cells for a long time. Methods of microbiological diagnosis Principles of laboratory diagnosis of brucellosis First, identification of the pathogen and its antigens. Second, detection of specific antibodies. Third, sensitization of the body to brucellosis antigen, force identification of specific changes in the body. Basic methods of laboratory research includes bacteriological, serological, biological, and skin allergological research materials. From sick people, they are blood, urine, bone marrow, spinal fluid, joint fluid, amniotic fluid, lymph node puncture, and sectional material. From animals, aborted fetuses, fetal membranes, lymph nodes, and milk. From food products, they are milk, cream, cheese, cottage cheese, and meat. And from the objects of the external environment, they are soil and water. Express methods of diagnosis of brucellosis include reactions of immunofluorescence reaction, passive hemagglutination reaction, and antibody neutralization reaction. Reactions used to detect antibodies in brucellosis. Agglutination reaction, which is Hedelson on glass, right in test tubes. Opsonophagocytic, passive hemagglutination reaction, complement binding reaction, Coombs reaction, and enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. The agglutination reaction on glass, which is Hedelson reaction, is of high quality and is used in conducting an epidemiological survey of the population in phacae of brucellosis. When setting this reaction, different doses of the test serum are applied to the glass. Then, an antigen is added to the serum. The mixture is thoroughly mixed. With a positive reaction, from the very first minutes, there is an enlightenment of the liquid and the formation of 
agglutinate flakes. The reaction is considered negative if there is no agglutination in all serum doses. Informative in the diagnosis of brucellosis in humans is the right reaction. In the acute form of brucellosis, antibodies are detected at the second week of the disease. And in the future, their titer increases. The right reaction is of greatest value in the acute and subacute form of brucellosis. The right reaction is carried out in test tubes, in which different dilutions of the test serum are mixed with brucellosis diagnosticum. The mixture is thoroughly mixed and placed for 18-20 hours in a thermostat at a temperature of 37 Celsius degree. The results are taken into account according to the degree of agglutinate deposition and liquid enlightenment. Bacteriological examination of brucellosis. Pathological materials to be examined. They are blood, joint fluid, bone marrow, conjunctival secretion, urine, etc. On the first stage, sprinkle in two vials with liquid medium. In one of the vials, we increase the concentration of carbon dioxide. Then we incubate it in a thermostat at 37 degrees for 30 days. Then on the second stage, inoculate them again in a liquid medium. Gentium violet, crystalloid or antibiotics such as polymyxin, amphotericin, bacitracin are added to the nutrient medium to inhibit the growth of foreign microflora in the environment. The growth of brucellosis in the atmosphere of carbon dioxide is observed after 4-5 days. Smears are made from ground colonies and stained according to gram. Next is the identification. Biological method. Pure culture is obtained by infecting guinea pigs with the test material. On the 15th, 25th and 40th days after infection, the guinea pig's blood is tested by spreading agglutination reaction. Polymerase chain reaction, which is PCR, is used to detect brucella DNA in various materials such as serum, cerebrospinal and synovial fluids. Intradermal allergic test, Burnet test. This test allows you to determine the sensitivity of the organism. The essence of the test is the ability of an infected or vaccinated organism against brucellosis to respond locally by swelling, redness or pain to the introduction of specific allergen into the skin. Brucellin is an allergen for the application of the Burnett test. 0.1% polysaccharide protein complex obtained by hydrolysis of acetic acid from the vaccine strain Brucella abortus 19VA. Brucellus prevention, non-specific preventions. Complex of veterinary, sanitary, economic and medical sanitary events. Basically, measures of prevention of infections among animals and elimination of foci of epizootics in case of their recurrence. To the specific prevention, brucellosis vaccine is used live according to epidemiological indications. Anthrax. Anthrax is an acute dangerous infectious disease characterized by severe intoxication of the body, fever, septicemia, the appearance of carbuncles, damage to the intestines and lungs. This is one of the dangerous infectious diseases common to animals and humans. Its taxonomy. Anthrax belong to the phylum of Firmicutes, class of Bacilli, order Bacillales, family Bacillaceae, genus Bacillus, species Bacillus anthracis. Bacillus anthracis, its shape, large, short-edged, immobile rods, gram-positive, arranged in a row on the side. The capsule prevents mascara particles from entering the cells and therefore appears as an halo around the bacilli. Without fibers, spores are stained red by Ajeska's method and the vegetative part of the cell is stained blue. The anthrax microbe belongs to facultative anaerobes. The optimal cultivation temperature is 34-37 Celsius degree, pH 7.2-7.5. 
The causative agent of anthrax grows well on simple nutrient media, which are meat pepton agar, meat pepton broth, and gelatin. On solid nutrient media, after 24 hours of incubation, the pathogen forms large, rough, matte, arrow-shaped colonies of grayish or grayish-white color. The causative agent of anthrax distinguishes between cellular antigens and antigens metabolic products. Capsular antigen, K antigen. Somatic polysaccharide, ST antigen of the cell wall. Protein exotoxin, consisting of three components. The main factors of pathogenicity of the anthrax microbe are the capsule and the three component exotoxin. The capsule is synthesized during spore germination in a susceptible organism or in a special nutrient media and protects the resulting vegetative cells from phagocytosis. The exotoxin consists of three components, the edema factor, the lethal factor, and the protective antigen. Diagnosis of anthrax. Obtained research materials from sick people carbuncle or ulcer secretions, blood, urine, sputum, cerebrospinal fluid, feces, and vomit. During pathological and anatomical examination, blood, exudates, body parts are taken. According to epidemiological indicators, animal materials, soil, feed, water, food, raw materials and animal products, raw hides and skins, are studied. Bacteroscopic examination. Gram stain to identify vegetative cells. Buried genes, Rebiger, Mikin, Old genes, Romanovsky genes, Leffler is to determine the capsule and Ajeska to, the, to identify spores. Production of immunofluorescent reaction with anesthetic luminescent serum. Express diagnostic immunofluorescent reaction. For luminescence microscopy, adsorbed immunoglobulins for anthrax luminescence are instilled by smearing, drying, and fixing swabs from pathological material that are material from suspicious colonies and animal material. This method can be used to determine the spore or vegetative type of microbes. If the sample contains vegetative cells, rods with a green edge are detected. Methods for laboratory diagnosis of anthrax. The material for research is firstly examined by the bacteroscopic method, staining the smear according to Gram. Next, a bacteriological research method is carried out in order to isolate a pure culture and identify it. Inoculate on the culture media indicated meat pepton agar, meat pepton broth, blood agar, penicillin agar for the pearl necklace test, etc and incubated in a thermostat. A biological method is also carried out, which is a bioassay on guinea pigs, white mice and rabbits, and an allergy test with anthraxine, which is retrospective diagnosis after recovery. Also, serodiagnosis is carried out in those cases when the causative agent of anthrax is not detected in the test material. The ascolate thermal precipitation reaction is most often used to detect anthrax pathogen or somatic polysaccharide antigen in various substrates. This reaction makes it possible to determine the presence of anthrax antigen in both fresh and decomposed raw materials or mummified animal corpses. Prevention methods Firstly, non-specific prophylaxis. The main directions of the prevention of anthrax in humans is the implementation of veterinary and sanitary measures. To the specific prophylaxis, they are anthrax vaccine adsorbed, live anthrax vaccine, chemical vaccine, combined vaccine. All vaccines are used according to epidemiological indications. So that's all for this topic. Thank you for your attention.